Hello everyone, welcome to, I'm doing this for two blogs, so uh, glimmercraft.blogspot.com and for Paper Architecture with Sabrina. I posted on my glimmercraft.blogspot.com a card that I made uh, as a design team member for the weekly Christmas card challenges and um, a couple people had expressed interest in learning how to do this technique with uh, feeding the ribbon and the string through the buttons. So I'm going to do a quick little tutorial on, on um, how to do that. First let's uh, talk over, of course the larger the button, the bigger the holes are and the easier and the narrower your ribbon or string the easier it is to feed through. But sometimes, <clears throat> in this case here, it's one of the thicker hemp cords uh, there, and so it's kind of hard to feed, especially when it's double um, through a hole in a button. And of course, the smaller the button, the more difficult it is to do. <clears throat> and of course, there's different um, thicknesses of hemp cord. Um, here's a really nice fine one, and this is 10 pound. This is slightly thicker, more of a medium. Um, oh, I can't remember the weight for that one. And of course you can get them even thicker than that. This one is slightly thicker than, than this one. Then you have um, different ribbons, widths of ribbon that you can use. You have your eighth inch, you have your quarter inch, you have your um, three-eighths and your five-eighths. I would not go any bigger than five-eighths. Um, and if you did use it, I would recommend using buttons that only have two holes in it. Um, four holes, uh, it would look kind of odd having these, these thick ribbons coming out of it. So I'm going to I'm going to um, show you how to do this with the four-hole button. Um, well, maybe I should show you what it looks like with a two-hole button as well. Let's see if we can find a, a four-hole. Here's a four-hole button. So um, the technique in um, getting um, ribbon through the holes, um, you can work your ribbons through the holes, not too difficultly if you kind of fold it at one corner and you have a point and you can feed it through. But in this case um, we're going to have it doubled to go through because we're going to do that thing that you do when you make a tag. I don't know what that technique is called. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to do it by using needle and thread. You want your thread double so it goes right through so that you have two. It gives you a little more strength, especially for pulling out uh, thicker cords. <clears throat> and what you're going to do is when we um, pull out, when we put it through, we want to put the folded side of the string or the ribbon through the hole. Now you can see why that can be a challenge. So what we're going to do instead is, oh, and when we're doing this technique, you always want to go from the right side of the button towards the back so that the loop can come forward to feed the, the string or the ribbon, ribbon through. So you always go through the front to the back. <clears throat> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my needle and thread and I'm going to uh, put it through the hole like that. Then I'm going to take my string here and I'm going to put the center part where I folded it. I'm going to put it on either side of the thread. I hope you can see that in the um, in the uh, video here because I, I can't zoom in and out. So then you're going to put your, take your needle and you're going to um, put it through so that the loop of the thread will pull your string through to the other side. You, so you just gently work it and 
there you've pulled your string through and you uh, take that off and then what you're going to do is you're going to take your loop and you're going to feed it through the things that are on the front like that and there you have your um, string. Now this is the first time I've taken the hemp cord on the buttons and ribbon. I used to always just do ribbon so this is the first time I did uh, two different things. I thought I just was experimenting. I thought, oh, why not? It's picking up the colors of the card. So um, you don't have to do that. Um, you can use all string or all ribbon. So there you have the string. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to use all these. <laughs> and you're going to take, um, oh, let's start with the narrow one. So now we're going to go with the eighth inch ribbon and we're going to find the center. We're going to feed our needle and thread through. We're going to put it on either side of the thread. We're going to go make sure that it's caught there like this and you're going to pull it through. There you go and then you're going to take your ribbon and do the same thing that we did with the string. So that's the, the 1 8 inch ribbon. So let's try it now with the quarter inch ribbon. So we're going to find our center and we're going to put it on either side of the thread. We're going to put it back through, making sure that we've got it like that. And then we're going to, oops, have to grab both sides. Pull the ribbon through. There we've got our loop. And we will Take the ribbon, feed it through, and pull tight like we were making a tag. So you can see that's the string or the hemp cord. That's the 1 8 inch ribbon. This is the quarter inch ribbon. So you can already see a difference in looks. And then here we have our um, 3 8 ribbon. I'm going to do the same thing here. So the needle and thread comes from the back, but the ribbon comes from the front. Put it through. Grab both parts of the thread from the behind to make sure that this stays in the center here. Pull the ribbon through, pull out the thread, take your ribbon and feed it through the loop. And pull like you're making a tag. So we're getting wider and wider with our ribbons so you can see oops, what it looks like when uh, when you get wider with your ribbon. So those are four widths in there. And I said with um, the really wide ribbon that I would recommend only doing it in a two-hole button. So um, let me grab my needle and thread and we'll have a look to see because I've never actually used this width. See what it looks like. So come through from the back. It 
go through again. Grab both parts of the thread and wiggle a little bit. You can see it's a little more challenging. It's a little, I would not go any thicker than this. Five eighths of an inch because it's harder to pull through. And then put your ribbon through and loop it. So that's the 5 8 inch and this is crepe ribbon which is um, easier to use in some ways because it bunches up more easily than say satin. Organza would probably work pretty well. Um, so satin would be a little bit more challenging and grow grain would even be more so. So that's what it looks like. Um, that just gave me an idea. You can only do, you don't have to do both ends. You could just hang a button like that. Anyway, so um, there is your tutorial. I hope I wasn't out of frame in any of that. So um, thank you so much for joining me and hope uh, you have fun uh, experimenting with this technique on your buttons. Thank you for joining me. Have a great day. Bye for now.